In this problem, we're being asked to rotate this figure, a parallelogram, 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. And then we have to answer these true or false statements uh, about this rotation. So when you do this in Alex, you'll be able to rotate it by just grabbing this blue bar right here and rotating that bar 90 degrees counterclockwise. Uh, you need to know which direction that is and how much it is. 90 degrees is one quadrant, and counterclockwise is in this direction, the opposite direction a clock hand would turn. So you want the blue bar to appear up here. If you've done that, then you will have rotated this thing 90 degrees. And let me see if I can plot this by hand. You know, when you rotate a figure 90 degrees, the X and the Y sort of flip-flop. So we have negative 1 and 4. So this is going to be negative 4 and negative 1. And then this point is negative 2, 7. So we're going to have negative 7, 2, negative 2. And then let's see, we're going to have this point here, and we're going to have this point here. Let me just connect the dots. You won't have to worry about the individual points uh, in this particular rotation. Just move that blue bar, it'll do it for you. But there's our rotated figure. And the thing to know about a rotation, it does not change anything about the size or the shape of this figure. And that's really what all of these questions are about. The first one says, the final side lengths are the same as the original side lengths. And you can count these if you want to. I guarantee they are. Uh, the next one says, the final angle measures are the same as the original angle measures. Yep, all of these sides meet each other in exactly the same angles that we had up here. It's the same shape, so the angles are going to be the same. The next one says, if two sides are parallel on the original figure, then those two sides are parallel in the final figure. Sure, we've got, here's one set of parallel sides, and that corresponds to these sides. They're still parallel, just changed their orientation by 90 degrees, but they're still parallel. So that's true. And then finally, it says, the original figure and the final figure may not be congruent. That is false. They are congruent. They are the same shape and the same size, rotation, reflection, translation, they don't change the shape or size of the figure. So that's a little bit of work with the properties of rotated figures.